Hi everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I have a Holy Grails video for you. I am 55 years old and I thought I would go over the things that I use every day. So um, if you're kind of curious about skin care, hair care, everything, I'm going to go over the Holy Grail's absolute favorites today. So um, first thing I want to start out, my previous video I had the um, 10 day LA Colors Color Last uh, Nail Polish and Family Ties. I'm starting off with this. It is my new Holy Grail. I've used it for the first time and I'm going to re be replacing my Sally Hansen and OPI with this being my new favorite nail polish. You have to start off with the Color Last Top Coat and it is supposed to last 10 days. I use this for a base coat, a top coat with two layers of colors in between. And I did my nails, uh, the first coat, base coat on Wednesday, two coats and top coat on Thursday. Today's Sunday, so it's been 10 days. And here are my nails. Now, they're all chipped up. This is the real 10 day deal. But my nails were split anyways. I hate to show y'all my nails. But anyways, for the most part, it did last the 10 days. Uh, it's all chipped up, but the touch-up is easy on this polish. Just do the tips. It dries quickly and the touch-ups last good, but it's still shiny. It looks good, so I'll be taking this off and doing another coat, but I mean Is any polish gonna last 10 days? I don't think so if your nails are split and chipped like mine But anyways love the polish gonna continue on with that. So um, Let's get into the rest of my holy grails because I um, yeah, let's get going. Okay, the first thing every day, I use the Shea Moisture, the coconut and hibiscus soap. I use this in the shower, it lathers well. I can even use it to shave my legs. It's just great. Any of the Shea Moisture bar soaps, they'll last forever. They're usually five bucks a bar. You can get it at Ulta, buy one, get one half off a lot. But that's my Holy Grail soap. Um, also, uh, my shampoo. If I only had to pick one now, I, I rotate with uh, Living Proof and some other things, the um, Olaplex, but my number one is one and only Argan Oil, and this is their Moisture Repair Shampoo. What I do is I cut it down half and half with distilled water, and um, so it's not so thick, and it suds up really nice, but of course it is sulfate, phosphate, paraben free. And I have fine oily hair so if you have fine oily hair you definitely want to try this I get it at Sally Beauty Supply um, Ulta used to carry it but they don't anymore but I've, I've got it for years at Sally Beauty so that's my number one favorite going along with that for their conditioner I use their restorative mask same brand as my conditioner a little bit leave that sitting on that's a great great conditioner and then for styling in the same line I use the one and only argan oil styling cream I just you know unless you don't like the smell of it just make sure you smell it I absolutely adore the smell of it but if you don't then you won't like it so there's styling cream just one pump in my hands over my damp hair works great and then to finish it off a little bit of the argan oil one and only uh, the oil um, a little uh, you know dime size and work it through the ends and that adds great sheen and helps control, control the flyaways but that is my holy grail hair product um, next I color my own hair and for years I've used the Revlon color silk and this is in number 30 dark brown and actually I just did my hair today so you can't really tell but what I, and I cut this in half as well. I just use half of the color and half of the ammonia and then cap it and save the other bottle to, you know, less than the amount of chemical that I put in my hair because I'm really trying to get my roots done. Leave it on and then pull it through to the end. But what I like about it is that my natural my my hair naturally streaks out with blonde in the summertime and though even though I just did my color, it's like it still looks really natural and uh as it fades it fades naturally and anyways been using this color for years and love that so uh, that's my holy grail um, hair color for cleansers 
My number one is the Ula Hendrickson Find Your Balance Oil Control Cleanser. It smells like peppermint and eucalyptus. So again, if you don't like that smell, you won't like it. But I have very oily skin. And what I like about this cleanser is that it controls the oil without drying out my skin, without stripping. So if I only had one, the Ula Hendrickson, and I like a lot of Ula Hendrickson things, but again, I'm just picking only one. So, um, uh, honorable mention cleansers are the Peter Thomas Roth. I love the original one that smells like peaches, the anti-aging cleansing gel. So I try to incorporate different anti-aging things into my regimen. I have a whole deal on that that I can do. But um, as far as the cleanser, this really cuts through waterproof makeup quickly. So this is my favorite for just cutting through the layers of what I've got on my face and um, smells like peaches, and then it has the anti-aging stuff in it, um, oil-free, anti-wrinkle -wrin technology, glycolic acid, salicylic acid, citric acid, extracts of peach, lemon, lime, grapefruit, uh, it, all skin types except for sensitive. I actually have sensitive skin, but I love this. But it is a little bit drying and tightening, but just great. Along with that, their rose cleanser, the rose stem cell, um, I'm not sure if they're making this. They were making it in a Hello Kitty packaging for a while, but it smells like roses and it has all these different um, uh, pale rose, white rose, four rose extracts. Uh, it's all rose. So if you like the smell of roses, this is another great cleanser. Peter Thomas Roth cleansers are great. They also have, they have a bunch of them. Uh, any of them are good. Just the Ula happens to be my favorite. Okay, so on to the next. Uh, natural deodorants I'm trying all kinds of them but my number one holy grail is kiss my face this is the cucumber uh, green tea liquid rock this is a liquid one they also make a stick uh, the only thing about this is the the ball is a little loose so it kind of gets kind of watery I always have to wipe it's running down the side of me so that that is annoying and of course it's wet so it takes a minute to dry but uh, go to the Kiss My Face website. They have uh, a great number of natural products. They make a great lip balm, um, toothpaste, other, other products. But Kiss My Face, is, that is my holy grail uh, natural deodorant. On to sunscreens. Um, no, wait. Let's not do that. Let's do, uh, okay, so after I've washed my face, um, every day I put on a couple serums. Uh, the first one I put on every day after cleansing is my Timeless. 20% C plus ferulic acid plus E uh, serum. I use um, a couple drops of that. Well, more like, you know, a quarter of a dropper full. And I put that on every morning. Probably, I probably overuse it, but I put about that much on every day. Make sure that that's tightly capped. And uh, Timeless is, that again, that's their website. You can go buy that. They have sales a couple times a year where you can get it 40% off, so wait for that, buy the big refills, and then fill the little bottles. And then I follow up that Timeless C with the Timeless Coenzyme Q10 Serum, and that's a great all-over serum, um, you know, all around your eyes. It's very soothing. It's, it's soothing after sunburn, too. It has uh, ubiquinone, aloe, uh, glycerin, matrixyl 3000, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, um, go to Timeless website. Everything they make is really good. I highly recommend Timeless. Um, I got introduced to them from Angie from Hot and Flashy, and I've been using this for uh, probably three or four years. And absolutely, and I use a lot of the ordinary products as well. But these are the two that I use every day: the Vitamin C followed up by the Coenzyme Q10. So that's really good stuff. So after that, I put on my. Uh, Australian Gold Mineral Lotion. This is a tinted face sunscreen SPF 50 and this is a titanium uh, dioxide and zinc oxide 4% each. This is a tinted, I put this on after my serums as kind of a, like a primer and it's very mattifying which again if you have oily skin this is just fantastic as a primer and um, will really help your makeup. Then I follow up that with the Australian Gold Mineral Lotion SPF 50, and this is the body one. So I put this on my arms, my neck, my chest, wherever is going to be sun exposed, but every day, my arms, neck, and my chest, and then if I'm gonna go swimming or something, I'll do the rest of me, but I wear this every day. Um, smells like uh, 
pineapple pina colada very summery the faced one is not it's tinted but doesn't smell but those are my two holy grail sunscreens and you can get those at ulta they're about 15 16 dollars a piece but they usually have a sale going on on those buy one get one half off um, wait for a sale on those they're really good excellent excellent mineral sunscreens they do give a little bit of a whitish cast um, well I have it on now you can't really tell but you know because it's mineral um, just rub it in okay next um, oh, I forgot on my hair uh, touch-up stick I use the root tween time if my roots are growing out um, this is a great little stick that uh, and I have it in the um, I think it's dark brown shade uh, yeah dark brown you can get this at sally beauty supply if they still carry it um i don't know if they do or not it was like six or seven bucks it's like a crayon this will last you a year or more what you do is when your roots are growing out run this underneath the running water and just go down your roots and uh this is great it's waterproof it stays on you can go swimming and your roots stay covered and uh the stick lasts forever and that is again the rue tween time and that's a touch-up stick and I absolutely love it holy grail been using it for years and years and years okay next um, favorite perfume well um, my all-time favorite my signature scent is rose explosion flower bomb this is a scent that was uh, came out in 2013 it's a version of flower bomb that has been discontinued I have to buy it off of eBay or wherever I can find it but um, it's just it's like a heavier version of flower bomb and um, it's just heaven in a bottle this is I love this stuff I don't know I can't I don't know why they discontinued it but I mean it's a heavier heavier fragrance I love now what they have come out with that I absolutely love which is a nice it's not a substitute but the closest thing to it more so than regular flower bomb is the flower bomb nectar by Victor and Rolf I just picked this up uh, last Christmas and I absolutely love this as well. I still like Rose Explosion better, but this is a great, great flower bomb perfume as well. These are my two holy grails. Um, and then for summer, and I wear this during the winter too because it just smells like summer, Bobby Brown Beach. This is beach in a bottle. This is 1970s copper tone suntan lotion scent in a bottle. It just, I love to wear this in the winter because I can just, it takes me back to my childhood of the copper tone. Um, anyways uh, next on to uh, toothpaste real quick the luster white power pro whitening toothpaste I love this and I put a little bit on that my brush it's getting harder and harder to find maybe they don't make it anymore I used to could get it at Walmart now I found it at TJ Maxx so I'm a little worried but I put half of that on my toothbrush and the other half is the crest complete with scope and that's my favorite toothpaste and just in case anybody cares I'm sure you don't but whatever there it is um, next um, makeup my all-time favorite holy grail number one makeup out of all my foundations is the Tarte Amazonian clay full coverage SPF 15 I wear light neutral it's a 12-hour makeup and it'll last longer than that excuse me Samantha Gosh, she always she loves to help look out boo-boo um, this is a great or again if you have oily skin this is a fan day found Blah, blah. fantastic foundation put it on over the Australian gold and I put this on oops I forgot before that put on the Tarte BB uh, beauty bomb I wear that in light 12-hour primer so I have my Australian gold then I have the Tarte BB cream then I have the Tarte foundation a lot of times what I'll do on my Real Technique sponge is I'll put a dab of this and a dab of this and put it on at the same time because I got too many steps going on here but if you put that on I I get home and my my makeup still looks good and I mean 12 hours no problem so with oily skin and humidity I live in Arkansas it's horrible it's like nine it's 80 percent humidity anyways um, it's just I mean you walk outside and you're sweating it's sticky it's disgusting it's gross but anyways this will help you out so on top of that I set that with my uh, the Laura Mercier powder I really like it it just it just I don't know what's in it what makes it so different but the Laura Mercier powder I don't use the uh, luminous one this is the translucent it's my favorite powder um, and then for a compact during the day to carry around I use the it 
CC Airbrush Perfecting Powder uh, uh, Full Coverage Finishing Veil, and it's also got more. I layer my sunscreens. This is a 50 plus sunscreen, and this is in light. And the thing I I hate the compact. It is so big, big and bulky. It just takes up so much space. But um, there's the powder again, hitting pan on it because I've been using this for years as my my touch up powder. Absolutely love it. And then um, you know there's room for uh, the sponge and it's just a bulky. I wish they'd make a thinner compact. But that is the It Cosmetics Airbrush Perfecting Powder SPF 50. Absolutely, absolutely love that for touch ups during the day. Forgot to mention my concealer. Oh my gosh, this video is so long. Um, okay, well, I'm going with it. Here we go, real quick. Um, the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Away Concealer. This is my favorite concealer. Again, I have greasy skin. I can crease any concealer just about. This one will last all day. Looks great. It's amazing. I hate the applicator sponge on the end. It's so annoying. I can't even get it open. Ugh, see? All right. I hate this nasty... This this reminds me of that Maybelline uh, one, and uh, I hate this. It's gross. It's disgusting. I wish it was just... I don't know, but anyways, it's my favorite concealer, and I wear uh, number four fair, and it is just... This, this concealer is is everything magic away Charlotte Tilbury just just amazing but I hate the application okay next my all-time holy grail favorite blush is Too Faced and this is the perfect flush blush in peach beach say that ten times fast so it's really nice you got the pink and you've got you know it's just a nice soft beautiful natural looking blush and I have just really gone through these and I mean I use everything I really like a lot a lot of blush a lot of blush palettes but this is my number one holy grail if I can only have one Too Faced um, my holy grail highlighter now I love all the Becca highlighters they're my favorite but if I can only have one Beyonce now they don't call it Beyonce anymore because I think Beyonce threw a fit but this is the JD glow uh, they're calling it something else now but this I mean look you can see I'm, I'm on pan on this it is a pinky like a rose highlighter just absolutely stunning pinky peachy kind of like what orgasm by NARS wishes it was but anyways the JD glow highlighter in Beyonce uh, is my absolute number one holy grail highlighter uh, next my brushes real quick uh, all of the Wayne Goss brushes and the um, Sonia G. My number one Sonia G. I have the Pro Face Set, the Pro Eye Set, but I absolutely love my favorite is the Builder 2. That's a fat handled brush and it's like a little, like a little kitty paw, little pussy willow on the end. I don't know. That's great for just packing on stuff and I like the fat brush. But anyways, all the Wayne Goss brushes, absolutely love them and the Sonia G's. Those are my favorite brushes. As far as fake brushes, um, synthetic brushes, anything real techniques, I love all them, so they're great. Um, for eyeliners, I don't use them too much because I think my eyelashes look bigger and longer. Um, again, my uh, favorite mascara is Benefit Roller Lash. Absolutely love it. Better than sex, and the Kush used to be my favorite, but um, it's all over because Benefit, I just love it. I love the the arch and the like kind of scoopy brush and you can get clumps out and um, it's just really really good doesn't flake and I mean I love better than sex but it gets so flaky so quickly that this benefit roller lash is my absolute favorite there um, for eye pencils if I do wear eye pencils my absolute favorite eye pencils are the Urban Decay 24-7 I've got a million of these but any of the 24-7 colors that you like, the Urban Decay pencils are absolute holy grails. They just have beautiful colors. Um, LSD is a favorite. Ether, uh, Twice Baked, um, Scorched, uh, any of those pencils are great. If you want to use a pen style liner, the NYX Epic Ink Professional Liner. I really love this. Um, nice. It's a, just a nice, easy 
this is it's gone up a dollar. They know too because everybody's buying it. Everybody knows how good this is because because it keeps getting more. You know, I mean, I used to get this for six bucks and buy one get one half off. But anyways, the NYX Epic Ink is a great eyeliner. Uh, for brows, my number one, I've used every kind of brow thing there is, and I always go back to my ColourPop Bangin' Brunette Eye Palmade, uh, Brow Palmade, not eye, brow, brow. Just dip your brush in there, and it's just, I just love it. It's just great. It's my favorite. I, I, it, I just, I like it better than anything, than, than Anastasia's dip brow and their pencils, and that's it. That's, that's what I like. That's my favorite. Okay, um, for lips... My absolute number one holy grail is, ta-da, Dose of Colors, Lazy Daisy. I love the Dose of Colors. This is my number one color if I could only pick one. But Ofra Anything is, that's also a holy grail. Um, this is Bel Air. Uh, I wear that a lot if I want a more peachy. But any of the metallic Ofra, any of the Ofras, I, I love the formula better, but as far as the color and everything on Lazy Daisy, it's just great. Today, I thought I'd have a little fun, and I'm wearing uh, Rihanna's uh, Sun Snatched, her, uh, you know, her little purpsicle things. They're okay, but I, I was just wanting the orange today to go with the blue. I thought that was pretty. But anyway, so the Ofra Liquid Lips and the Dosa Colors are my all-time favorite. Um, for lip balms and stuff, there is nothing better than the Laneige, the Lip Sleeping Mask. This is my big vanilla one uh, that's by my bed, and I just love that. Um, you know, all the little baby ones are cute for travel, and I like lots of lip balms. I mean, look at the size of my lips. I mean, I'm obviously a lip... I mean, I gotta have something to keep these from drying out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But anyways, um, I think that's the best of everything that I have. And, you know, their new ones, their little, uh, their little lip glowy balms. Those are nice, too. But the original, these are just amazing. Um, honorable mention to the First Aid Beauty uh, Heavy Duty Ultra Repair Lip uh, Mask. Those are really good. And uh, last, let's see, did I get everything? I think I got everything. That kind of takes it through the hair, the makeup. Um, at night, uh, after I wash my face, um, I like to put on some kind of serum. I, I have all kinds of things. I really like the Ula Hendrickson Retinol Alt Sleeping Mask, but um, I use a Tretinoin, which is the um, you know the generic version of Retin A. And um, uh, so, anyways, Tretinoin, I always wear that. Which I mean, that's a prescription deal. So, um, but. Uh, what you can get is the uh, Proactive Adapalene Gel, and you can buy that for 20 bucks. You can get it at Ulta, you can get it at Walmart, but that is a nice, uh, you don't need a prescription for that, and it's a it's an acne treatment, but it's a form of Retin-A, so you can get you some of that. Because um, you always want to get, like, you know, the line, line on your forehead, and, uh, you know, the little, if you got anything here going on. And I've got a little scar here. I got hit in the face with a car door. So stupid. I did that to myself. But anyways, um, so that's what's going on there. But actually, my skin is really pretty good uh, with my skin routine. And so I'll use some form of Retin-A. Switch off with different things. I also like the Peter Thomas Roth Retinol Fusion PM. This is just really quick. If I'm exhausted and I don't want to deal with a 12-step program or I just want to get something on my face and I don't want to, if I just want, after I wash my face, um, I can just get, this is a pure and potent micro-encapsulated retinol 1.5% vitamin C and E for all skin types. After cleansing at night, and, and I do, well, I do a double cleanse, but I just wash my face twice with, you know, the first one just cuts off the makeup and the second one gets any residue. I use a glycolic acid from the ordinary every once in a while as a toner. Um, but I'll just take a dropper of this and uh, about that much and put it all over my face and it's just a, you know, go to bed. It's just something to put on your face better than nothing. Uh, the only thing that I didn't talk about quickly, oh my God, this video is so long, is my favorite eyeshadow. And I have got probably a million palettes just like you, but I always go back. And I think I'm just going to, I don't know, I haven't bought a palette in a while because I, I use what I what I picked out myself and so my number one favorite eyeshadow is an Inglot palette that I made myself uh, this last February I went to the Inglot store in Vegas I go there every February there uh, Inglot's kind of hard to find in the in the websites hard to pick colors because you can't really tell 
So um, it's, it's kind of hard to buy, but I made myself a matte palette from their colors and if you guys want just let me know and I will go over my Inglot collection because I have two more oh gosh I've got two of the giant palettes of Inglot but this is my basic palette that I use every day as my base all over the lid and transition colors and what I do with that is I go from my Inglot base to my other palettes that I've made myself with my this is my makeup forever collection these are all my makeup. I just love, I like the big, big pan sizes, and I like making, picking out my own colors. Because every time I see something in a palette that I like, I'm like, oh, I have that in my own palette. I'm like, oh, well, I have that purple. Oh, well, I have that orange. I have that. And I've got the nice big pans. And I, the Makeup Forever, I love their eyeshadow. They're so amazing. I like to buy them during the uh, VIB. Uh, sales the you know at Sephora twice a year this is another makeup forever palette that I made these are my you know my aquas and my blues and my browns and um, so I wind up every time I look at a palette I go and I'm like wow you know I already have that and I've got you know big giant palettes and I, don't, I think I'd just rather make my own palette instead of buying all these ones with half of the colors I don't even really like you know what I'm talking about I know you do um, and then this is a this is a palette of my Urban Decays. I like the Urban Decay single eyeshadows, but I mean they're so overpriced. Twenty dollars for a single eyeshadow is just borderline ridiculous. But I think Urban Decay makes some really really special duo chromes and metallics. So usually if I want to look, I'll just go grab my Inglots and my Makeup Forevers and finish up with my Urban Decay. And I can make pretty much any kind of look that I want. So, I mean, I think for next year, I don't know how many, I don't think I'm buying any more eyeshadow palettes. I, I don't even use the ones I have. Even my Natasha Denona, the blue greens and the purple browns and the, you know, I, I use her Tropic palette the most, uh, really. But um, all of the great eyeshadow palettes I have and I use the ones that I made myself. So, anyways, that is, man... I didn't know I was gonna talk for a dang half an hour. I am so sorry about all that. But um, I just wanted to tell you about my holy grails. I think I've gotten about everything. If I missed anything, if you have any questions, my name's Jackie. Again, I'm 55. I'm into anti-aging. I'm into makeup. I'm into saving money. Um, I wanted to come back and tell you about my 10 day fiasco with my nail polish. But I mean, it's still shiny and pretty. Boy, it needs touch up bad. But anyways, those are my absolute holy grail items that I use every day. And I I have a lot of makeup and I like trying things all the time. But these are the things that I are tried and true that I've used for years and years and years. And if you are my age, oily skin, fine, greasy hair, um, or you're trying to, uh, I don't know what you're trying to do, but anyways, um, <laughs> if you're curious about what I use, uh, tune in, subscribe, like, thumbs up, talk to me. Um, all right. Have a good day. See you next week. Bye.